I'm talking about Vera Sidika, and you just heard that banger of hers, pop star. See, your flow is tight, mama. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. I think actually, honestly, between the singing and the rapping, yeah. the rapping is the one that works best for you. And I think oh. it's so your personality. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, we have to get into it. I hate to talk about this, but we just have to. Okay. Guys and your body. First of all, guys, me, I'm looking at Vera's body. Mwache kuongea. Up until you have seen it live, by the way, there's a way it moves that it cannot be fake. <laughs> <laughs> the way it moves i've seen ah uh, uh, nika is gonna post that video up for you we see what you have to say but let's just get it straight out with the haters what part of you is you and what part of you is not <laughs> <laughs> well i would say all parts of me are me because okay. i bought some parts of me <laughs> when you still, buy it you own it <laughs> that's still yours <laughs> yes um but i would say um my hips my butt is real mm -hmm. i posted a throwback picture of myself the other day yeah way before i even became famous yeah and you can actually see i had a big bum yeah um i didn't have you know you know when you're blessed one one place you don't get both <laughs> you don't get both you can't get know? the backyard and the front yard <laughs> yes so um then i realized i wanted to be a bit more proportional mm -hmm. so i wanted to have that you know hourglass figure yeah so i got my boobs done okay um i've talked about this before of course i got Easily. them done in uh, beverly hills mm -hmm. um i got my teeth done <laughs> i love how much was that because i want <laughs> you want i'm so serious you, you have like it? the perfect smile oh thank you uh so yes i got this done uh how many years now it's been like three years mm. yeah about three four years now um i got them done in beverly hills mm -hmm. actually when i decide to do a procedure i would mm -hmm. prefer going there because i feel like the doctors are very um legit legit mm -hmm. um they're certified board surgeons um in case of anything you can sue them mm -hmm. you know <laughs> right. you know, it's america yeah um so you get your money's worth yeah um, and it did cost me sixty thousand dollars i remember yes six million they did. yes six million <laughs> right now it should be more than six yeah it's million. about like almost seven million right now <laughs> yes wow okay let me tell you you look fantastic thank you a lot of guys are besides themselves saying um your post where you're talking about your rebirth was insensitive and whatnot okay. i think first and foremost she said she shed light on something that is happening yes, you know a problem true. that actually is happening when it comes to body enhancement procedures yeah and i think kenyans you should be happy that she didn't go through that that the plight exactly. that she was talking about actually didn't happen to her you guys yeah. wanted her to suffer ama <laughs> you know that's the whole thing because um it's like most people really wanted it to be true mm. um because i mean the fans who are like my real die had fans mm -hmm. when they realize it's not true they were actually very happy they're mm. like oh my god i'm so happy it's not true at least she's happy okay. and healthy yeah you know like everyone was just like oh my god i'm so happy but now there's the other part of the world that mm -hmm. is like no you don't have to do that because so I, I kept asking people why would you feel like it's insensitive mm -hmm. for me to shed light on that topic along alongside me doing whatever i was doing mm -hmm. and you didn't find it insensitive laughing about it exactly and mocking me when you felt and thought that it's, it's true mm -hmm. because i mean like so you would actually be okay laughing but, at someone who's going through that that situation someone who's in pain you understand i get it and then you and then you get pissed when it's actually not true it doesn't make any sense it's just how, very hypo hypocritical how do you deal with the haters because for me first of all me i run away and i hide i'll either clap back or i'll run away and i'll hide serious well well um i feel like you know i've been in the industry for 10 years actually this is my 10th year you are one of the people who opened the industry yes uh -huh. so um I, I think i've been at a point in my life where i am very very thick skin mm -hmm. i know how to deal with haters mm -hmm. um I remember the first time when I was new in the in the in the, in the whole celebrity fame life. Mm -hmm. I used to cry. My, I used to cry myself to sleep. Like I used to call my mom, like, "Mom, what are they, why are they saying this? The blogs oh. are writing stuff." And then I got to a point where I actually started enjoying it. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, so a point where I'm being like, if they're not talking about me, I have to give them something to talk about. <laughs> Babe, you're it, strong. Becomes, it becomes more like okay you know at the end of the day whether they say good or bad whether they do good or bad they'll still talk mm -hmm. when i get to do a charity project or do something nice mm -hmm. it wouldn't trend or go viral mm -hmm. but when something bad happens or there's a rumor about vera that mm -hmm. is not good mm -hmm. it goes everywhere Kabisa, everyone you know? will run for that you understand so yeah. i mean once you know um what people want mm -hmm. and you know this is what people like you mm -hmm. give them what they want uh -huh. Did you get <laughs> So you guys got played and she knew she was playing you and i told you guys and they enjoyed it it's not like they didn't i mean the country was boring <laughs> we were all lost for a hot quick minute they're just you like know? okay what are we going to do yeah and then i felt um 
my biggest thing is because it does happen it's yeah. not like it was all play i mean it does happen out there the people who do get to run for surgery because they're very um they're, they're under peer pressure they get this situation where like everyone wants to have this nice perfect body yeah uh, and in the process they end up falling into the wrong doctors the mm -hmm. wrong hands uh the doctors who are not certified but certified surgeons, yeah. they just go you know just do backdoor uh black black market it's true and it goes really really bad um i remember when i was actually talking about the topic i did share some images mm -hmm. which i blurred the faces of the ladies of ladies who've gone through that situation mm -hmm. and it's been really bad most mm -hmm. of them are actually celebrities in the states yeah um and i felt like in so many ways it's it's really helped people understand that these things do go wrong yeah if you really have to do it you can actually get it done but make sure you've saved enough money to get a very very good surgeon mm -hmm. um so that you don't end up in the wrong hands it's you true understand? i like that um yeah so it was, for me it was basically just putting the word out there mm. um and letting people understand that these things do happen you know should that now yeah. would you change anything else on your body is it in your plan i'm to sour <laughs> venue well um would i change anything in my body honestly um like i, to I actually told my my fans the other day a story about how i grew a bigger butt because i had a big butt mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but now I, I at some point in my life when i started being in a serious relationship mm -hmm. i did uh contraceptives ah uh, yeah so i may, literally just blew up that kind of happens by the way <laughs> you know then um i was in this situation where like i have this <laughs> excessively big you know <laughs> and to be honest with you people think it's fun and everyone wants this Veracidica behind, mm -hmm. but to me, I honestly wanted to be smaller. <laughs> you would go get a reduction. Well, I don't know if it's possible. Is it possible to reduce a butt? I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. I don't know. Okay, my money is not letting me think about such things <laughs> like that. Yeah, but I mean, I would want to resize mm -hmm. uh, because, like I told you, I did the contraceptives before i didn't know mm. that it does have that effect so yeah it makes you add weight so i did keep adding adding and adding and most of it was going to my you know inside, You're behind behind yeah. you understand and then it got to a point where now i when i stopped actually i was enjoying the contra contraceptive because i wasn't getting my periods mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know women don't like that <laughs> so it was more like okay gosh yeah let me tell you vera you're a very sweet lady i'm so happy this is the first time we've actually met face to face oh yeah by the way you know we just beat yeah. her in places and by the way guys Kamen is so sweet she <laughs> comes to my spa in mombasa she is <laughs> such a oh you're such a sweetheart anytime you know me i'm all about make love not oh, war oh thank you so much she's a sweetheart guys like i love this babe you don't you don't know seriously we're definitely going to think about regards to your family yeah? all yes, the best with your music you. thank you thank you for pulling up my people we got her we we got it straight i have confirmed myself as well that everything is there so can we just move on with life and it's real the it, mom is real. yeah it's real i've seen Come it i will touch it <laughs> <later>. <laughs> on that note this has been the morning kiss for myself kamene goro vera thank you so much thank you for having me have yourselves an amazing furahi day and a great weekend ahead i'm leaving you with this fire banger again by vera tidika it's pop star <laughs>